Yellowstone super volcano. It could be devastating to society. This is what one USGS scientist claims. Yellowstone volcano eruption could be absolutely devastating to modern society, even if the likelihood of it happening is very low. USGS geologists speculated about the announcement. Sebastian Kettley expressed UK reports. Yellowstone rests on the northwest corner of Wyoming and into Montana and Idaho, as we know. It's erupted three times in the past. The three caldera forming eruptions shaped the landscape around Yellowstone, covering the land in volcanic fallout, ash, and smoke. It last erupted around 640,000 years ago. That was, we're talking about a super eruption because there have been a tremendous amount of eruptions after that. And it formed the current day features of Yellowstone caldera. Geologists can't predict what another super eruption blast will go off, but it matches past eruptions. If it matches, the results, of course, would be catastrophic. Jake Lowenstern, the geologist formerly in charge of Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, YVO, said in another, that another super eruption could be devastating, even if the chances of it happening are minimal. Yellowstone is monitored for worrying signs of activity by YVO, which is a branch of the U.S. Geological Survey. You can find their uh, analysis on uh, Yellowstone monitoring. If you click on the little black triangles, you will get the seismograms uh, from the seismometers. You can click on to find the um, details of the seismometers. If you know how to read the seismic waves, harmonic tremors, and God forbid if there are tornillos. Okay, so if you know how to read them, they're there for you. I'll leave a link below for you for the Yellowstone monitoring for those who want to see it. So USGS tracks all these, seismicity, hydrothermal movements, in a bid to gouge what the volcano could do. Unfortunately, even the most sophisticated geological instruments can't predict when a supervolcano would go off. There are currently no imminent or long-term signs this volcano is acting out of the normal. If Yellowstone supervolcano was to erupt, in the foreseeable future, the blast would be preceded by intense, very obvious seismic activity. Dr. Lowenstein said trying to serve as a source of public information on this topic is clearly a no-win deal. He says, yes, these kinds of events do occur somewhere on Earth every few ten thousands of years. And yes, if it happens again, it could be devastating to society. As we said before, concerning what uh, information we have of, on super eruptions. There's uh, about 16 super volcanoes on Earth, six of them are active, and they estimate that about every 17,000 years there is a super volcanic eruption. The last one was in New Zealand about 26 and a half thousand years ago, and one big, big one before that was in the Toba eruption of 74,000 years ago, there was very few humans left after the Toba eruption. They estimated there was a bottlenecking of humans, about a thousand couples worldwide of humanity were left. Now, Dr. Lawrence says there is no minimum chance, minimal chance of Yellowstone that is going to erupt this century and we're not hiding evidence to the contrary, so get over it, he said. According to the USGS, the next big blast most likely to occur at Yellowstone is a hydrothermal one and not an eruptive one. But not all news concerning Yellowstone is bad, Dr. Lawrence said, who left the post in 2018. He said that he has fond memories of his 15 years in the National Park, writing for the weekly Caldera Chronicles. 
the geologist shared the five things he missed most about Yellowstone. Among the fondest memories were his hiking trips into the wilderness, the landscape, the diverse wildlife of Yellowstone. Dr. Lawrence said the geysers, where else do you get to see all this in a, in a place where you work, all these geysers. Somehow, though, the steamboat geyser erupted only six times during my tenure, he says, including only two in the last 11 years. Somehow, however, steamboat geyser erupted only six times during my tenure, including only two in the last seven years, post-2006, with 68 and counting eruptions in 2018-19, I'm starting to take this personally, he said. Quick facts about Yellowstone. Last eruption, the super eruption was 640,000 years ago. Before that, 1.3 million. Before that, 2.1 million years ago. Yellowstone is bigger than Rhode Island and Delaware combined. It's 3,472 square miles. There are almost 300 species of birds living in the park. Yellowstone is home to more than 500 active geysers, more than half of the world's total. I think it's 60% of the world's total. And on top of abundant wildlife, there are more than 1,800 archaeological sites in Yellowstone. I didn't even know that. And there are over 10,000 geothermal areas as well. We've been seeing an uptick in quakes around the Yellowstone caldera. And that's because of the fact that we had the Ridgecrest earthquake July 4th and 5th, the big one being July 5th of 7.1 magnitude. And that has affected and kicked off quake swarms in Yellowstone. But that's normal because this has happened again 20 years ago when they had another Ridgecrest 7.1 magnitude earthquake. That again kicked off more quakes in Yellowstone. The same thing has happened in Long Valley Caldera. Ridgecrest has caused more earthquakes in Long Valley Caldera because it has upset, it has jiggled the area. And this has happened in the past. In 1999, when they had a 7.1 magnitude, again, it gave earthquake swarms to Yellowstone and Long Valley Caldera, which is another supervolcano in California. The same thing is happening now. It's just normal. Yellowstone had a quake swarm also when they had the Denali, Alaska earthquake. And the Chile earthquake of 8.8 .8 gave Yellowstone quake swarm, as did the Haiti earthquake. That also gave Yellowstone a quake swarm. So there is very little actually known about how supervolcanoes act and what would make them blast and explode, because nobody has left us any recorded notes as to what takes place before a supervolcano erupts, giving us a supervolcanic eruption. But from what the geologists say, everything is going smoothly and normal. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today more of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.